How about a funny story? Want to tell a funny story? <laughs> no. What's your? Fu- I got a good story for you, Uncle Papa. Can we tell the Uncle Papa story? Uh oh. All right. So what happened? My best friend, his name is Papa, and we'll just say Papa has a lot of ladies like those up on the screen. <laughs> so uh-huh. over Christmas break, we went with Uncle Papa, and you know, every night Papa might have had another girl. <laughs> maybe. So maybe. Keyword maybe. So my son. <laughs> Being, you know, the the utmost of saying what he sees, went to school and he had the best time. So they're going around the room. You know, he goes to Palm Beach Elementary right over here. And they're like, so, Johnny, what did you do? Johnny went to the Bahamas. So, you know, Christy, where did you go? Oh, I went skiing. Spencer, what did you do? And he was so happy to say, I hung out with my with my daddy and my uncle Papa. And guess what? What did you say, Spence? What did you say, Spence? Say you can say it. No, I want you to say it. You, you can say, say it. it. I want you to say it. You want me to say it? How about he says it, then you say it? Okay. We'll say it at the same time? What yeah. does Uncle Papa What does Uncle Papa have? Ladies. Ladies. <laughs> so he told his first grade teacher <laughs> that um, he hung out with his daddy and his Uncle Papa that has all the ladies. So when I picked them up, they were excited, but it she was like, you know. Order, buddy. I just want you to know he was very excited that he hung out with his daddy and his uncle Papa that has all the ladies. That's, that's awesome. so And that's first grade it, teacher. You're the man, Spencer. You're going to have to peel them off you one day. One day? You're <laughs> going to get ladies or no? Papa I don't know. is like a billion, a billion of them. He's going to get a lot of ladies? <laughs> is he the master lady man? Yeah, he is. So Good for him. We'll keep him alive. Yeah, we'll keep him around with us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I said, we're not making a penny. None of us are making any money on this. It's all about blood cancer, and everybody can relate to cancer. Uh, going to be a 500-person party. Uh, a lot of um, VIPs. 5.30, it starts. It goes to around 7 with the polo match. As the sun comes down, we're transitioning it into an authentic Argentina Sado. Oh, wow, that would be cool. And uh, yeah, and then we've got a DJ. She was just in school, correct, at your yeah, class? Yeah, I came straight from class. So, yeah, <laughs> rushed I came rushed here class. to be here by six so we yeah. could put this on. But, and and yeah. then here he is, man of the year. You <laughs> right? know what I mean? Yeah. I, I probably wouldn't have went to school after that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and he's humble, but he did raise over $100,000 for his campaign. Congratulations, straight man. Oh, yeah. And uh, you, congratulations guys. on the man of the year, man. Very impressive, very impressive. So yeah. how important is the connection between the polo player and the horse. Oh, it's it's everything. I mean, I I believe that there's certain horses that, that connect with players individually on a on a you know one on one level, and there's obviously certain horses that you know you feel as a player more comfortable getting on. Like you feel like confident. It gives you like, oh, I'm getting on this one, man. Try and catch me or try and beat me on this play. Mm-hmm.